Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome electric guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'm going to show you the coolest, the easiest, the most playable, and the most easily memorized um, scale pattern on electric guitar, so you can solo around with this. Okay, um, any professional guitar soloist knows this, and I've seen people charge ridiculous amounts of money to teach this secret and it's absolutely no secret and there's no reason why you should pay someone to teach you this simple scale pattern okay because once you can see it on the fretboard yeah you can't unsee it and it works with any scale any shape and basically anything okay anything you play soloing wise can be translated into this pattern okay it has to do with the with the logic of the fretboard and um, the thing is this, okay, if you have A major, okay, let's take the A major scale, then basically it would be these notes, okay? Okay? I know that this doesn't sound like A major, that's because I started from the seventh note. I started from the seventh note of the scale, but this is A major. Okay, listen to it again, okay? Okay, sounds like A major now, okay? So basically, it's a repetitive pattern, okay? It's four, five, seven on strings six and five, okay, on the two bass strings. Okay, it's four, five, seven, four, five, seven. Okay, and the four on the sixth, okay, the G sharp, that's the seventh note of the A major scale. Okay, so we start from that, okay? This is the pattern. And you slide up, okay, using your little finger, you slide up from seven to nine on the fifth string, okay? That's your last move for this pattern. This is the whole pattern, okay? Now, you play this pattern, okay? And after you slide to nine, you're in a position to repeat this pattern again on strings three and four, okay? And now it's on six, seven, and nine. Exactly the same thing. Six, seven, nine, six, seven, nine, and you slide to 11 on the third string. Exactly the same pattern. It's exactly the same notes. Okay. Your you can see how this is the same pattern, okay? You have a half tone, a full tone on strings six and five. You slide up two frets, and then you're in a position to play exactly the same thing, okay? And it's exactly the same note, okay? Let's let's do this in octaves. Now all that's left is to play this on strings one and two. And you're in the position to do this, okay? Just, you need to, you need to take it one fret up, okay? On strings, uh, on the second string to start from the octave, okay? Because of how the, the, the guitar is tuned, okay? When you tune a guitar with your, uh, you know, with this five, 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 four, five trick, you're playing five, 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 four on the third string, okay? So you need to compensate for that, okay? So if your octaves are uh, two strings, two frets apart, okay, on strings four to six, uh, on strings um, three to six. <laughs> On strings 
um, one, two, three, and four, the octave would be three frets apart. So when you slide, hey, okay, let me. Okay, three frets apart. Now, you don't need to memorize this. I'm just showing you the logic of why we're playing it this way on the second string, okay? Because we slid from nine to 11 on the third string. We slid from nine to 11. And now, instead of playing the note on eight on the second string, we'll play it on nine. That's it. And then you have nine, 10, 12, nine, 10, 12, and you slide to 14. And that's the same notes. See how this is very, very, very useful? Okay, this is really useful. Now, if you want to play um, a minor scale, okay, one of the closest minor scales that you would have would be a Dorian. Okay, a Dorian is a minor with a note uh, out of place that gives you D major. Okay, that's why it works so well with the blues. So uh, basically, playing. A Dorian would be playing uh, two whole steps, okay? Instead of G sharp, you play G. So you have three, five, seven, okay? And it's exactly, exactly the same idea, okay? Okay? Now, this is G major. Now, G major, A Dorian is basically G major from the second note. So if you're in A minor, you can play it, okay? This is your, your Dorian note, okay? So. All right, got it? You saw, it's exactly the same idea. And again, you finish on the F sharp, right? So you have three, five, seven on strength six and five. And then you slide, you slide to nine again, once again. And then you have the same pattern on strengths three and four, starting from five. So you have five, seven, nine on both of them. And you slide up to 11. And then you start from eight. Okay, remember we started from nine before and now we're playing G. So we're playing eight. Okay, so it's eight, 10, 12. And eight, 10, and 12 on the first rank. So it's the same. Pattern, exactly. Okay, you got it? And the fun thing to realize about scales is that this is basically the only two patterns that you need to memorize. I saved the best for last, right? Just uh, to give you a bonus, those of you who stayed um, to this point in the video, okay? Every time you have this, okay, the two whole tones pattern, right below it is the previous pattern. Right below it is the previous pattern, okay? So if you have three, five, seven, right below it is two, three, five, and you can do the previous pattern. And it's the same thing with a major, okay? You have four, five, seven, right? So if you play the whole tone pattern, you start from five. You have five, seven, and nine. You have two patterns, and you can play them anywhere, anytime, depending on your scale, and you can play both of them.
you see how this works okay again if you don't one pattern follows the next one okay again if you have the first pattern okay four five seven that was that was a major so five seven nine is also a major okay it's also a major it all depends on what you want to do at the moment while you're soloing if you want to play the if you want to play the uh the half tone whole tone pattern or if you want to play the whole tone whole tone pattern that's it that's the choice that you have and you can play both of them okay you can play both of them you can just decide and slide and change okay just slide one fret down and change in the moment And that's how you get used to uh, the whole scale without having to uh, memorize complicated shapes. That's the, that's the greatest thing about the guitar. The guitar is a very symmetrical instrument visually. Okay, the standard tuning is ingenious, absolutely ingenious. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to know more about fretboard logic, I have a course, a whole course on that called fretboard logic. It's a part of the complete guitar freedom course series. Check it out, lickandref.com slash courses. Okay, the fretboard logic course. You have ear training, rhythm mastery, soloing, everything. So check it out and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.